So we're here at the Fintech Forum in Latvia and I'm joined by Marius. Marius, great seeing you. Please great seeing you too. tell us briefly who you are and what you do. Well, yeah. I'm a SAB Innovation Lead at SAB Baltics. I'm specifically responsible for SAB partnerships. So here in the Fintech Forum in Latvia is the exact event where they want to be. Yeah, right. So look for those, uh, I know, ideas. What's coming in the Latvian Fintech ecosystem? Mm -hmm. What are the startups there? What are the tendencies? To, you know, this is very important to be in, in, yeah. in, in an ecosystem and understanding what's the pulse of the of the finger. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit uh, from from SAP perspective. Uh, wow. What are you looking in terms of innovation? Are you just scanning the market to see what's popping up? Are you, have, you, have you got your eyes specifically on a particular technology? What's your view? I would say that they're very open to whatever sort of innovations could come to the market. So if, if we see that there's potential, we'll definitely get a look at that. So the startups are always very sort of incentivized to approach us and instantly the innovation team, I would say. Uh, when it comes to specific areas, I would say, of course, you know, payments and some sort of innovative solutions are always there and some sort of no-brainer for us to look into. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to, you know, the sustainability aspects, uh, that's very important. That's the forefront of our agenda. When it keeps, uh, comes to education and kind of uh, uh, the whole sort of countries, I would say as well. When it comes to kids, uh, kids' applications, that's uh, sort of the hot topic as well at the moment, I would say. Right. And SCB, uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming we're talking about the, the, the Baltic branch. Yes. Um, is there anything specific that you've noticed in, in Baltic innovation that perhaps is quite unique to the region that, that maybe you don't have access to in other regions of the, yeah. in Europe? Uh, so just before joining the bank, I was also part of the West Lithuania and I sort of uh, was being able to see that the whole sort of growth of the Lithuania and Finnish ecosystem. So coming here to this event, uh, I was really looking forward to see what's the sort of the central bank's uh, agenda, how they proceed, because I've seen that the Lithuania played a huge and important part that uh, the central bank would be open and yeah. innovation and would be sort of close to the startups. It would be very approachable and being able to discuss uh, openly about uh, all the processes. Uh, so see that some aspect of that is uh, likely as well. And really hope that uh, that's going to proceed, and then some really open-minded people are there uh, making the decision. So I think that's very important. Uh, surprising, I guess, uh, from investment point of view, looking uh, globally, uh, many of the investors in some cases you see the whole Baltic as almost one country, uh, yeah, one market. Yeah, one market, and then uh, some of them would be surprised in the process that you know it was actually three different countries, and they're very unique in their own way. And uh, mm. I guess uh, if you look in Estonia, they're sort of very sort of digitally and as like all the yes. uh, the you know, sort of innovations that they presented, uh, the voting and all of that, and that I think uh, globally they're sort of perceived as this digital low bad uh, country. Right, right, right. Uh, no, some people could say that it's not tr true, but uh, they definitely did the marketing and they did it right. Any uh, Lithuania has been working their strategy when it comes to fintech since 2016 and it was very proactive and actually attractive fintechs to the country. And uh, as I mentioned before, the, the openness of the central bank was played a very, very important yeah. uh, part in that. We see that the license is being issued and the number of the, the fintechs are sort of plateaued at the moment. Okay. So uh, I guess that there is a slight of shift of the mindset of like what kind of companies they want to achieve, how, what's the number of the raw fintechs in the country. And uh, I guess Latvia is now at this stage where they can sort of go both directions, you know, uh, no, okay. either sort of open up and uh, also like grow it and maybe like specifically select some specific niche such as fintech and that specialize in that. And I think that would be a very good way to just being known for one specific area yeah. and work on that uh, with all the force. And, uh, out of fact, of course, it would be being very conservative and, you know, that's, that's a very interesting insight. So, so, so Latvia can benefit can a little bit from the experience of Lithuania. Yeah, they, 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 uh, of course, so the whole uh, financial uh, ecosystem currently now, like uh, money being more expensive at the moment, uh, changes, like, I guess, the aspects of what kind of fintechs are approaching the market to you. I don't know, if you look five years ago, uh, I would go to the conferences, I would hear that many of the fintechs are saying that, uh, you know, they're going to crush the banks, they're going to cheat. Right, 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 right. Now is the money are getting more expensive. Uh, they're more talking about the partnership, but being partners of the banks. So 
uh, it's, that, it's a different market that uh, I think you have to be open-minded in order to grow it. Uh, you're going to stay conservative, uh, it's, gonna, it's not going to change a lot. So it, it is up to some of Latvia's decision, like how, how they want to receive it. Yeah, but that, that you're right. There's, there was we, this transition from us versus them to now, uh, like how do we work together? Yeah, and, uh, uh, at the end of the day, I believe like all of the things still have to be working together. You know, yeah. uh, like if you see all like by the the current banks or we, we call it legacy banks, this is something that's call it. Uh, so the infrastructure is there that uh, some it will have to be shared at some point and then in some way. Yeah, and uh, there there has to be a partnership. And of course, open banking opens some part of it. And uh, I guess here we have PSD two. Yeah, PSD three is going to be coming, so that's going to be so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking well forward to that. Uh, so that's going to open some of the areas, but. Uh, Really excited to see this. All right, Marius, uh, just one last question before I let you go on. What's been your key takeaway from from what we heard today, from the sessions, from the uh, pitching competition, anything that you take home with uh, with you? Yeah, so I've heard quite a few good pitches of, of the companies. That I, was, I saw a new these, uh, these companies, but they didn't know that they're doing so well. Yeah. And uh, I guess uh, Latvia is yet to pick up in the unicorns uh, yeah. being born in, 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 in this country. So what before it's Matt too. So you, uh, because the topics that are being discussed are sort of very similar, I guess, in different countries. It's like AI, the, then there's of course digital assets, make regulation, yeah. and being prepared for that. And I guess the, the probably the most often said thing is that, you know, AI is going to be there, but nobody knows. No, it's not, no, it's, yeah, that's true. That's, that's probably one of the key things to take away from today's. Very good. Well, Marius, thank you very much for thank stepping you. by. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Too.